pencils because it's a lot taller than these. So what I use is a polyurethane. You can get, there's one in, at Walmart. It's in a blue container. Um, that's the one I suggest you use. This is just something that I had here at the house. And it's a, it's made by Glidden. And it's also polyurethane. So I'm just pouring some in here. In my little cup because it's easier to pour. Um, you want to make sure that your jar is clean so you just take some alcohol and pour it into your jar and switch your alcohol around really well and just get it all up in your jar and on the outside all on the inside and when you're done just clear out whatever you have left in there and get a paper towel and wipe it up You need like a spatula or something to make sure that you get it all dried from in there. So once you get that done, you're going to go ahead and pour your poly into your jar. This might need a little bit more since I use about this much for these smaller jars. But just quickly go ahead and go around your jar and swirl it. Yeah, I need more because this is a bigger jar. So for this taller jar, I'm going to use two of those little cups. Two cupfuls. I'm just going to pour that in. And put the top back on here. Um, I need a paper towel for my fingers. If you want, you can use gloves to do this so you don't get all messy. So just swirl it all inside. If you have any questions, comment below. Also, subscribe to my channel so I can get more uh, subscribers. And then I can do more lives. And you can also get um, notified when I do a video tutorial. But uh, YouTube changed the rules. They used to let me do lives. But now you have to have... Um, a thousand subscribers so if you guys can share this video um, link on YouTube uh, share it with your friends or in a group if somebody wants to know how to do this now we don't use any epoxy at all in this cup it's all in this jar and it's not a drinking jar it's only for storage of utensils or pencils and things like that so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this face down onto my paper towel and let it drip out and this I'm going to put it back into my uh, tub into my paint can and that's all I'm doing for that right now I'm just going to let it soak out this is a lot taller jar so I'm not going to use it as pencils or any kind of utensil what I'm going to use it for is a, I'm just going to put um, glitter inside of it a different color it's going to be gold so here's my gold glitter so now that um, you make sure that it's completely you just want to make sure that it's pretty much cleared out I'm going to get my gold fine glitter it's always good to use fine glitter it shows up a lot better in your cup remember this is no epoxy at all it's just um, Glitter. It's just uh, poly on the inside, no epoxy on the outside, but it still makes a pretty cup. And if you want to double ensure that the glitter is not going to fall out or get scraped by pencils or anything like that, you can spray the inside once it's already dry. So you see right here um, on the middle, on the end part of the jar what I'm going to do is just swirl it around like I did the poly and go around with the glitter and let the glitter fall out but it's getting the whole edge of the jar okay that's all you do that's all and this one you just put the top back on um, the the like I did on here I don't think I have the top but the top just goes on and protects the edges of the jar. But that's all you do and it leaves you with a pretty glittery cup. And um, then you can put 
your uh, vinyls on there but make sure that um, it's dry and you can spray it with a clear glossy spray on the inside